വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു എ ന്യൂ വീഡിയോ ലെക്ചർ ആൻഡ് ഹിയർ ബി ഡിസ്കസ് എപ്പോഴും റിലേറ്റഡ് വിത്ത് ബെൽറ്റിംഗ് മെത്തേഡ് ഫോർ ദ വാലുവേഷൻ ഓഫ് ലാൻഡഡ് പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസ് എ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി ഈസ് പ്രപ്പോസ് ടു ബി ഡെവലപ്ഡ് ഓൺ എ സൗത്ത് ഫേസിംഗ് പ്ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ലാൻഡ് ഓൺ എ തേർട്ടി ഫോർ മീറ്റർ വൈഡ് റോഡ് ഹാവിംഗ് എ ഫ്രണ്ടേജ് ഓഫ് തേർട്ടി മീറ്റർ ആൻഡ് എ ഡെപ്ത് ഓഫ് സിക്സ്റ്റി മീറ്റർ ഓക്കെ ദെൻ ദ ഫ്രണ്ട് ബെൽറ്റ് മേ ബി ടേക്കൺ അപ് ടു ട്വൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് മീറ്റർ വിത്ത് ദ വാല്യൂ ഫിക്സ് റേറ്റ് റുപ്പീസ് ഫോർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് പെർ മീറ്റർ സ്ക്വയർ ഫോർ ദ ഫ്രണ്ട് ബെൽറ്റ് ലാൻഡ് ആൻഡ് എയ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റോറിയുടെ ബിൽഡിംഗ് ഹാവിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ഓവറോൾ ഹൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് തേർട്ടി മീറ്റർ എബോ ദ ഗ്രൗണ്ട് ഈസ് പ്രപ്പോസ് ടു ബി കൺസ്ട്രക്റ്റഡ് വിത്ത് ഫൈവ് മീറ്റർ സ്പേസ് ഓൺ ദ ഈസ്റ്റ് വൺ പോയിന്റ് ത്രീ മീറ്റർ ഓൺ ദ വെസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ട്വൽവ് മീറ്റർ ഓൺ ദ നോർത്ത് ഇഫ് ദ കോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് കൺസ്ട്രക്ഷൻ ഈസ് സെവൻറ്റി റുപ്പീസ് സെവൻറ്റി പെർ മീറ്റർ ക്യൂബ് ആൻഡ് റെൻറ്റബിൾ ഏരിയ സിക്സ്റ്റി പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ഓഫ് കവേഡ് ഏരിയ Find the average rent to be realized per meter square of rentable area for investment to yield 8.5% gross. Okay, so so many details are provided here. So our final aim is to calculate the value of this property. So for that, we divide that particular property into different belt. So in this case, if you observe, the values are provided in this way, that is, this the 30 meter span is provided the frontage of 30 meter and a depth of 60 meter so total depth it is going to be 60 and the total front belt length it is going to be or the width it is going to be 30 meter so that is written here then the next category it is the front belt may be taken up to 25 meter okay so we divide them into in this way that is 25 for the first belt and the second belt that is 60 minus 25 that is going to be 35 meter 60 minus 25 gives 35 meter then an eight story building having an overall height 30 meter above the ground here an eight story building is going to construct and it, the height overall height it is provided as 30 meter then another important thing which you have to note down that is this building is proposed to be constructed with 5 meter spacing on the eastern side okay so it is provided 5 meter to the eastern side and to the west it is provided that 1.3 meter okay so actually this uh, building it is to be constructed over this particular plot we have you have to give this much a distance and here this 12 meter on the north end side so you have to give this much spacing 12 meter on the north end side so using this reference you have to calculate this each belt values and everything so in the first belt if you observe the total area it is going to be 25 multiplied by 30 you will get 750 meter square very clearly you will get the second belt you will get 35 multiplied by 30 you will get 1050 meter square and you have to find out this portion already we discussed those things in the previous lecture video and the value is going to be 750 the maximum value you have to take that is 750 in this case and the second belt the value is going to be 1050 and you have to take a 2 by 3 value okay so only you are considering two portions so the next two, second belt it is going to be 2 by 3 multiplied by 1050 and you will get the value of 1450 meter square and the rate it is provided as 400 per meter square it is clearly mentioned okay 400 meters per square then the value of land it is going to be this area multiplied by rate you will get the value of land so the first case it is over the value of land then moving on to the building case next you have to move on to the building value so right now you have calculated the land value okay and now we move on to the next one that is the value of building so the cost of construction it is provided as if you check out the cost of construction of that building it is provided as rupees 70 per meter cube okay per meter cube it is provided as 70 and our next aim is to provide calculate the area of that particular building actually area how you can calculate in this case actually the total this much it is going to be the land 
but here only this much area you need to for the construction of that particular eight storied building so if you observe this total distance it is going to be 30 30 minus 1.3 minus 5 then you will get this this much distance isn't it then here 60 minus 12 you will get this much distance so if you directly multiply those values you will get 1137.6 meter square then volume of building you can directly multiply by height you will get this value 34128 meter cube then cost of building it is provided as 70 per meter cube then if you multiply you will get the cost of building so the total investment in this case it is going to be this value of land and also value of building you will get the total investment value then then what about it is mentioned find the average rent to be realized per meter square for a rentable area for investment to yield 8.25 percentage gross okay so to calculate this gross rent it is provided as 8.25 percentage of the total investment so we will get the gross rent that is the building in the totally amount okay means building means total rent value on the so it is clearly mentioned that's 8.25 percentage then this area of one story it is provided us area of one story it is provided as 1137.6 meter square or you building in the area on a criterion number keep a criterion okay so one story rentable area you can clearly calculate that is 60 percentage that is also mentioned in this question 60 percentage of covered area rentable area it is clearly mentioned okay each value have its own importance so the rentable area it is going to be 60 percentage of that particular value then for eight story it, you have to multiply with the eight then rent per meter square it is going to be gross rent divided by gross rent it is going to be this much value so you will get an amount of and this value per meter square okay the rent the rent value per meter square you are going to get the average rent to be realized per meter square okay question at the part of the guidance of the chola number average rent and calculate and per meter square lana per meter square per meter square of rentable area triano etra area on the provided chia put another uh, area which it went on the chicken so gross rent it is its unit is actually gross rent value in the barn area number get in the rupees alana okay then rentable area in the barn area number eight to story a day or end in a good corner I'm gonna any part in the value like a theory so 44.86 rupees per meter square so that's the case okay the, so that's a this is a border related with this belting method then moving on to the next one that is hypothetical building scheme already we discussed what is this hypothetical building scheme in the hypothetical building scheme valuation of building like land in the calculator and item I'm going to use in the method on in a detail I to la lecture I'm already for you know so let's move on to a problem so a developed plot of open land measuring 240 meter square is situated in a residential area containing a number of two storied rendered houses determine the value of land by hypothetical building scheme method assume the construction period to be two years and the plinth area rate rupees 1900 per meter square for a two storied house including cost of water supply and sanitary works so so many details are here also provided a developed plot of open land measuring 240 meter square is situated in a residential area containing a number of two storied red houses so our aim is to calculate the value of land land in the value of three and calculate so I know a certain procedure number follow up a set hypothetical building scheme in number certain procedures under so the area of plot it is clearly mentioned as 240 meter square and the permissible area you can calculate by the total area minus one by third of this area okay so it is also mentioned here the total area of land to find out the 
permissible area, covered area, total area minus 1 by third area for compulsory open space. So 160 meter square you will clearly get. Then rentable area. So this is a general equation that is permissible area minus 20 percentage of that area. So you will get 120 that is also mentioned here. Okay, already we discussed all those things. Rentable area that is 160 minus 20 percentage of those value. For a single story actually, that is the story building in the rentable area means area we have to rent provide we have to story you can directly multiply by 2. Then net rent is the gross rent minus outgoings already. We have to do that. We have to do that. We have to do that. Then let us assume the gross rent per area that is 25 rupees per meter square per month so just we are assuming a value of 25 rupees per meter square per month then gross rent it is going to be 256 multiplied by 256 multiplied by 25 you will get a value of 6400 rupees that is what we assume we one meter square na, irubatanji rupee aana naolar idile. One month ke naamal kana kootu aane gel. Naamak gross rent calculate ya, naamak rentable area ko dekhne irunu iti ambatara aana. Aba naamak directly multiply the rent means naamal assume jee dekhne irubatanji rupee aana naolar idile na assume jee dekhne na. Okay, so adu vechhe dekhne naamak work out idhe rent kitna gross rent na parne rent six thousand four hundred rupees. I value se dekhna to provide chhiya to onda na assume jee dekhne na. Then directly this outgoing 30 percentage on this is also general value this 30 percentage of this gross rent. Then you will get the outgoings then net rent you can directly calculate. Uru maasa the rent net rent on a criteria that is 4480 per rupees per month. Uru varsha te gaani directly multiply by 12. Then the ES purchase that also very important. So in this case the sinking fund that is not mentioned. So the rate of interest, we interest rate, we assume usually we 10 percentage interest rate, we assume So you can directly substitute that 10 percentage. That is, if this uh, sinking coefficient is not mentioned, you can directly substitute in this way. That is 100 by i. But in this case, 100 divided by 10. Okay, that is percentage directly decimal Okay, so you will get 10. Or otherwise you can follow this step okay then you will get this value then capitalized value that is net rent multiplied by yes purchase net rent then net rent 53,760 multiplied by this yes purchase you will get this value then present value of building plus land okay currently all the value that is calculate and we are following another equation so here if you observe this value assume the construction period to, to be two years randu varshatheke aanu indha construction period so a randu varsham kaiyumba kittuna means adinde value etrayaanu so adu calculate cheyanulla general equation aanu so ippolulla amount etrayaano directly multiply by 1 divided by 1 plus i whole raised to n so n represents how many years so if you substitute those values, you will get this. Okay, that is 4,44,297. Then cost of construction of building is going to be plinth area multiplied by plinth area rate. Plinth area rate is provided as 1,900 per meter square percent value of building. So that is going to be 1,900 multiplied by this 160 and you will get a value of Present value of building 3 lakh 3 lakh 4000 rupees. Okay, so this is a case for the building value. Okay, the present value of this building. Then the value of land you can calculate by this number already building plus land in the value on a get here for like 44,297. That is the building in the value means even the criteria. So if you subtract those values, you will get the value of land. Finally, get the output of the value of the land. 
So if you subtract, you will finally get the value of the land using this hypothetical building scheme. So you have to follow up certain procedures. Your procedure right side to follow up you will get the final value. Okay, so that's the case regarding. So that's the case regarding this hypothetical building scheme. And uh, the this is a final topic regarding this valuation of building scheme. And I hope the section is clear and with this we wind up today's section. Thank you.